I don't know why I keep putting myself through things like this. Maybe I'm a glutton for punishment. Maybe my hopeless romantic side wants to prove my inner cynic wrong. Whatever the case may be, there's only one real way to describe what I'm about to talk about. Man, this is some bullshit! <laughs> There's a hilarious scene in The 40-Year-Old Virgin where they go speed dating. And you are Gina? Gina. Hey, what's up? Fast forward to four weeks ago when a friend of mine mentioned that she was actually going speed dating. I thought, why not? And told her I would go too. At least it'll be entertaining, I thought. Yeah, I was wrong. I'm not sure why I didn't learn from the singles mixer fiasco, but I'll learn now. And hopefully this video is more entertaining than the event. It all goes down on a Saturday night at a bar in Hollywood. It usually takes about 10 minutes to get to the block where this bar is, but I decide to leave the house 30 minutes before. I look up the traffic as I'm heading out and it says 31 minutes. Must be Hollywood Bowl traffic? No problem, I'll just take alternate routes. Those are packed too. Unbeknownst to me, there's an event at the Hollywood Bowl, a film screening at the Kodak Theater, and some sort of event down by Hollywood High School. Individually, these venues can screw up traffic. All three at the same time? Eventually, I get there. The line to get into the parking structure is more jammed up than I've ever seen it. Valet is clear, so I do that. Race up the stairs and across the street to the venue because I'm six or seven minutes late at this point. And what is it that I see when I walk in? This whole crowd looks suspicious. It's all dudes in here. It's all dudes in here. I fight the strong urge to get up and walk out only because days before we were told that all the women's tickets were sold out. So I go check in, then I go to the bar and chill. My friend walks in 10 minutes later, so that's at least one. And she has three other ladies in tow, all of whom I know. Eventually, the other ladies trickle in and now the guys are outnumbered. But I'm still fighting the urge to get up and leave because there are literally no prospects. This is my hell. None. Zip. Zilch. Which, of course, I pretty much already knew would happen. But that's the problem of being a man of your word. I told her I'd go without fully investigating what I was walking into. That's on me. Bet you it won't happen again, though. Yeah, I said the same thing about the singles mixer, so what? I said what I said! The event starts, and I spend the next hour or so answering the same questions over and over and over again. Where are you from? What do you do for work? What do you do for fun? Have you ever done this before? And I'm engaging in being charming, all the while in the back of my head, I know that I would rather clip the toenails of a bear than go on a date with any of these new women. <laughs> they were nice enough as far as I could tell, but there was no attraction whatsoever. But around it, give him a chance for being too picky. Bump that, I would rather die alone than settle for somebody who I was just eh about. Nasty. The event's over, I turn in my speed dating card and I reconvene with a group of people I know. We're all hungry, so we decide to go grab a bite and some drinks. Everywhere has a wait except Hard Rock Cafe, so we decide to go there. Now I'm assuming it was overpriced because it's in the middle of a tourist trap, but the cherry on top of this whacktastic night was the fact that their food was the epitome of mediocre. If you have to rely on the table condiments to make your food taste good, you need to reevaluate your situation. And you definitely shouldn't be charging BMW type prices for Daewoo type eats. Chef Pee your cooking sucks. And every time that I eat it, it hurts my guts. Then on top of that, I lost my leftovers somewhere between the restaurant and my house. Not that I was excited for next day lackluster vittles, but I hate wasting food. Literally no idea where it went. <laughs> Overall, it was a lesson learned. What did I learn, you ask? One, stop spending money and time on dating events. And two, stop committing to stuff before you know the whole picture. <laughs> and apparently it's not over yet. Um, so can we set you up on a date? How about this? Because I don't believe that this woman exists. Sure, have at it. Try it. I dare you. I know somebody right now. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. One day I'll learn.